name is Donald Donaldson, and to be quite honest, I was highly surprised when they said that they were going to send a documentary crew over to my house for the duration of my house arrest. But, you know, I went along with it. Why not? You know, national television. Banging, as, uh, as people say. Not me. You know, I'm not that vain, but, you know. Your choice, really, isn't it? Um, I was named after Ronald McDonald and Donald the Duck. So, not the most imaginative of parents, but they did have the idea to add the sun bit to the end of the second Donald. So, you know, that, that's mainly because I'm their son. So, a little in-joke there. A little pun. No, no, come on, you fucking cunning ball licker! The reason I'm kind of under house arrest at the minute is because, well, I'm completely innocent, you know. It's, it's something my sister did, you know. Basically, what she did is, um, she, apparently she robbed a bank. You know, I say apparently because I wasn't there, you know. It, it was in all the news, but you can't believe it, can you? It, they, they make it up for their own privilege. God, you know. And basically what happened, allegedly, was that um, she stole about £3,000 from a bank. Now, the next day, what happened is she returned the money, except for about £100. And, but, but in the bag with the money in, she, she actually left a, po a photo of me. So, so, so they pinned it all on me, unfairly. You know, you got no evidence other than DNA proof. I mean, it's just ridiculous how, you know, I've got to serve this penalty for something I've never done. You know, I would even consider doing, if I were to live to be five billion years old, you know. Um, but, you know, and, and one of the questions a lot of people ask me now is, oh, don't you hate your sister for that then, you know, since she's famed you? And they go, no, not really, no. It's all about forgiveness, you know. And she might be a country fucking bitch ball licker but you know I, I think it's important that we appreciate that she you know she made a mistake she's a fucking whorish tart but we've got to you know accept her you know for all the faults and trivials i'd say i'm quite a religious man actually yeah if you if you just bring the camera over here a minute look at this jesus christ oh oh you know, it, it's all lord and flavour. This is my pulling top. You know, the one I usually wear on Friday and Saturday nights when I decide to go out, you know, meet some women, as, as you might say. And it's a great conversation starter before I use my first pickup line, which is usually, are you a cup of tea because you're hot? Works about 20% of the time, but, you know, 20%, so weeds out the bad from the good. This is one of my art pieces that I'm just finishing up on now. Uh, I haven't come up for a name for it yet, but it's got all sorts of different art techniques in it. You know, you've got your, you've got your abstract, uh, colour, all sorts of different colours in there. Um, you know, all sorts of different art forms. I always thought that shower heads were very sort of symbolic of um, the government, you know, because when you think about it, if you turn that on, then, you know, you get all this water coming out, you know, so, so that's a form of power, right? And yet, when it's off, it never, you know, it never suddenly comes on. So it, it's got all this power at its disposal. And yet it always chooses never to use it. Come on.